Shelley Barlow Creations. If you're new to my channel and you're stopping by for the first time, thank you for stopping by. Welcome to my channel. Stick around a while by clicking that red button for more crafting on a budget, more everything on a budget videos to come. And if you click it again when the bell appears, YouTube should notify you every time I upload a new video, depending on the option that you choose, yes, in the drop down menu of the bell. If you're interested in following me on social media, you can find those links mm -hmm, in the description box below. So what do I have going on for you for today? Today, I'm getting together with Cricut to bring you three quick and easy DIY greeting cards that you can make using, yes, your Cricut and Cricut Design Space. I'm gonna show you just how easily you can navigate Cricut Design Space to either create your own greeting card or one that's already made up that comes with the Cricut Access Membership. These are such quick and easy card ideas. I'm bringing to you three different ideas. One that is a print and cut, two that is a cutout, and three, a card that you can make using the pen feature on your Cricut. These are all quick and easy cards to make that are gonna take you under five minutes to do. These are cards that you can either gift to somebody or if you're somebody who's doing one of those craft fairs for the holiday season, I say make a bunch of these and sell them at the craft fair because who doesn't love a homemade handmade card? I know I for one prefer that over a store bought, but that's just me. So I'm gonna quit my gabbing, let's jump into it and let me show you just how quickly and easily you can create your own greeting card using your Cricut. You're gonna pull that Cricut out of the closet, off of the shelf, you're gonna set it up because there is nothing to be intimidated by. This is an amazing tool to use, so you're gonna utilize it. If you haven't, I'm gonna show you just how easily you can do that. Let's get to it. Alrighty, so getting started. Once you launch Cricut Design Space, it's gonna take you to a blank canvas here. Off to the side, you're gonna see this image tab. By clicking on this tab, it's gonna take you to all of the images and projects that are available to you when you subscribe to Cricut Access. And you can see the A in the corner that tells you that those are the images that are available with your subscription. When you go up to the top here, you can type in whatever it is that your heart desires, whatever you're looking for. I'm looking for Christmas cards, so that's what I'm gonna type in. Pre-made Christmas cards to keep it easy. Why not use them if they're available to you? These here are all the cards. I kind of scrolled through and picked out some ones that I liked and went ahead and clicked on that little tag in the corner and added them to my saved, which is my favorites. Just to kind of make it easy, you can get your collection going by clicking on saved. It's then going to bring up all of the projects and images that you liked here. So you can see that I've picked out several cards. Today, we're gonna start off with, I wanna say a print and cut card. I've picked out a few that I really like. And so let's start off easy with this one here. I'm gonna click on it. By clicking on it, it's gonna take it to the bottom here. And I'm just gonna go ahead and add it to my canvas. How awesome is this? Everything you need for this card is available. You've got a DIY envelope too. It's attached though. So by clicking detached while both of them are highlighted, I can go ahead and remove the card so I can make some adjustments to this card here. You can see here that this card is a basic cut card, which is telling you that you're gonna use cardstock to cut out all the pieces and attach them, but I don't wanna do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and highlight my piece then coming up here to the top where it says options, I'm gonna go ahead and click on it and scroll down to print and cut standard. Once I do that, you'll see off to the side that it changed everything to print and cut, but it's all separate. And so to make it all one piece, I'm gonna keep this highlighted and I'm gonna go ahead down here to the bottom and click flatten. Once I do that, it's flattened it. Now it is a print and cut, but we've got this warning sign here. Print and Cut comes with a standard size of 6.75 to 9.25. It, it's any bigger than that, it's not gonna work. So if you go up to the top here and you go ahead and alter the size of the card, once you do that, that warning sign goes away and we can now print and cut our card. The envelope's a little bit big, so I'm gonna cheat here and just slide it right behind the card and size it up here, making it easy. Sure, there are other ways to do it, but this is just an easy way to do it. Once I've got it all good and sized, guess what? 
We're ready to make this card. It's just that easy. This card's gonna take you five minutes to do. So we're gonna click make it up here at the top and you will see that it's gonna bring our project to our mat. And you'll see this black line around here. This is the allotted space for a print and cut DIY. And this is the line that your Cricut is going to read when it's cutting. By clicking continue, it's then gonna prompt me to send this project to my printer. So I'm gonna go ahead and send this to my printer. This screen here is gonna pop up. You're gonna wanna scroll down and find whatever printer it is that you're using and click next. Once we click next, it's gonna ask us what material we're using. Today, I'm using just a basic cardstock, a medium weight cardstock, so I'm gonna click that and it's gonna send it to the printer and just like that, look at that, it is printing our card out. I'm gonna go ahead and place my card on my cutting mat because this is where the magic happens. Loading your mat is easy. There's a couple of guides down here that you wanna slide your mat into and by pressing the arrows, your Cricut is going to take over and load your mat. Once it's good and loaded, you're gonna see the blinking start button. So go ahead and press that. Once you press that, this is where the magic happens again and the Cricut is gonna do its thing and it's gonna cut out our card perfectly. Today, I'm using my new Cricut Explorer 3. This is a brand new version of Cricut's most popular cutting machine. The Cricut Explorer combines the power of a professional machine with the simplicity of Cricut. And now, the Explorer 3 is even smarter and faster than ever. Let me dive in and tell you just a little bit about some of the features that this incredible machine has to offer. Some of the key differences between the Cricut Explorer Air 2 and the new Cricut Explorer 3 is the speed, the cut length, and the ability to cut using some of the new smart materials without a mat, which is amazing. The Cricut Explorer Air 2 is limited to a 12 by 24 mat size for cutting, but the new Cricut Explorer 3 can cut at lengths up to 12 feet long using the new smart materials. This machine is incredible. Our card's done. I'm gonna release the mat. And just like that, look at this. We have got a print and cut card. But wait, we're not done. We've still gotta do the envelope. So let me show you how easy this is. You can see here that it is prompting you to have your stylus scoring pen and your cutter on hand because we're gonna be making an envelope we're gonna to need to score. For this envelope, you are going to need a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock because it is on the bigger side, so an eight and a half by 11 is not going to be big enough. This is what the scoring stylus pen looks like, and this goes here in clamp A. So just by opening it up and holding the unit itself and just kind of popping it in there, closing that clamp up, we are good to go. We're gonna go ahead and load our mat, and again, the Cricut Explorer 3 is going to do its magic. It's gonna cut out our envelope. It's gonna score it, make it easy for us to fold. That is amazing. I do also wanna point out that the Cricut Explorer 3 will also still work on all of your classic cutting mats, as you can see it doing here, and over a hundred different kinds of materials too. It does have enhanced cutting speeds that are exclusive though, only to the smart materials. This machine is amazing. I love it. If I'm being honest, I don't remember the last time that I actually bought a card for somebody because using my Cricut to make a card is one of my favorite things to do because there's so many that are readily available to you in Cricut Access. So I just feel like I've got card stock, I've got a printer, why would I go spend money on a card when I can take five minutes and make my own card? Once I've got my envelope all folded in on the scoring lines, I'm gonna use a double-sided tape to close my card up. And so once I've closed it up and I've kind of seen where I need to put the tape, I go ahead and place my tape there. And just like that, we've got an envelope for our card. Look at how cool this is. I love this. It's easy to do. And have I told you, cardstock is so inexpensive. Look at that. How fun is that? It took us five minutes to do. You can't beat that. Let me show you how easy it is to do a cutout card. Cricut Design Space has so many of these available. 
I found just a few that I saved in my saved file. The Santa one is the one that I've got my eye on. So I'm gonna go ahead and add this to my canvas. Once it's added to my canvas, you can see here that it comes equipped with an envelope as well. I'm gonna go ahead and click continue. And on this one, I'm gonna click matte. I am making it on a mat. Once I've clicked on mat, I'm gonna go ahead and click next. And it's going to bring my pieces up onto their cutting mat. We've got three separate pieces here. This is a white piece that's gonna go in back of the red cutout. So I'm gonna go ahead and use just some basic medium cardstock and attach it to my blue mat. This is a light grip mat. I like these the best. I'm gonna load it into my Cricut. And just as we did before, once it's good and loaded, I'm gonna go ahead and press start and it's going to cut out my card. When cutting out the cards, you can get away with using an eight and a half by 11 sheet of cardstock, maybe even a bit smaller if you've got some nice size scraps. Again, I'm gonna go ahead and load it into the Cricut Explorer 3, just as I did before, and it is going to work its magic. This is one of those cards, again, that most of the work is putting it on the mat and taking it off the mat, and you're gonna have a card in under five minutes. An amazing handcrafted card that anybody would love to receive. When I'm making a card, I really try to stick with the blue cutting mats because like I said, it is a light grip map and you can see just how easily you can pull the card up off of the mat. And when there's some of those finer details, when you're using a stronger grip mat, it can rip your card stock. And so I would stick with either the blue or an older green mat that isn't fresh and new that the grip isn't quite as strong. Now all that's left to do after I folded this is just to add that white background to really make Santa pop and give it all those awesome details. And to attach that cardstock, again, I'm just gonna use some of my double-sided tape. Do I even need to say anything? I love this and it was so easy to do. Um, did I tell you? It's really easy to make an adorable handcrafted card using a Cricut. I love it. Have I said that? I do. It's my favorite crafting tool ever. This last card I'm going to be showing you today is how easily you can make a card using the pens that you add to your Cricut. I'm going to go ahead and go into Cricut Design Space, pull up some of my saved cards. I saved a few using the pen that I will actually be using this year. This is one of them. I'm going to go ahead and add it to my canvas. There's nothing else that needs to be done to this other than once it's in the canvas, I'm gonna go ahead and click make it. Yep, that's it, that's simple. It's gonna bring it to our cutting mat. I will have attached my cream colored cardstock. I'm gonna click the material here which says cardstock. When it comes to making a card like this, you'll see in section two that it's gonna tell you what tools you're gonna need for this card. So it's starting off by prompting you by telling you that you're gonna need your scoring stylus in clamp A, but then right below it, it tells you what you're going to need coming up, which is the teal pen and the red pen and the black pen. So I'm gonna go ahead and load my cream colored cardstock and it's going to score where the scoring lines are for this card, which is really just down the center, and it's gonna cut the card out. Once the Cricut has cut and scored, it's gonna tell you to go ahead and remove your styling pen and replace it with the teal pen in clamp A. The pens that I'm using today are the pens that Cricut has available. I'll be using the black, the teal, and this berry red. Starting off, it's prompting me to use the teal pen. I don't have teal, I'm using jade, close enough. And this here is gonna go right in clamp A after we remove the styling pen. Yes, and we're going to go ahead and replace it with the pen, the teal pen or the jade pen. And just like that, have I told you that this Cricut is going to work its magic and draw out the card using the pen, giving it a totally different look than the other two cards that is what I love about this machine. That is what I love about Cricut Design Space. Cricut Access is the versatility. There are so many different types of cards that you can make, different projects that you can do with this machine. 
and it's gonna give you a different look. And this is such a fun handcrafted look. It's one that I really love. And actually they, these are the cards that I will be giving out this year are the cards using the pen. It is now done using the teal pen, so it's gonna prompt you in Cricut Design Space to replace your teal pen with now the black pen. I do wanna point out that when you are replacing and removing the tools from clamp A, you do wanna make sure and hold the unit itself. Give it some support as you're clamping the pen in so not to break it. You don't wanna to put too much pressure, not a lot is needed. It clamps in pretty easily. Then you just go ahead and close it up and lock it into place. Once the black pen is done doing its thing, Cricut Design Space is gonna prompt you to replace the black pen with the red pen, and in my case, it is the berry pen. So I'm gonna go ahead and do so just like I showed you before. And again, I cannot convey to you enough that you really wanna give that clamp A some support when you're replacing and removing your tools. And just like that, we've got another easy DIY card using the pen feature on the Cricut. I again made the envelope to go with it, but with these envelopes, we need something to close them up. I like to use a sticker. So with this, let me show you how easily you can make a print and cut sticker using Cricut's sticker sheets. Such a fun, easy way to add an embellishment to a card and close up your envelope. These print and cut stickers, again, are gonna take you less than five minutes to do. When it comes to stickers, I like to search for images that are just small Christmas images that I can size down. I found this Merry Christmas and I found this adorable snowman that I thought would work perfect, so I'm gonna add it to my canvas. You can see that this Merry Christmas is a basic cut we want to make it a print and cut, so we need to flatten it. So with this image, all I simply have to do is highlight it and go down to the bottom here and click flatten. Once I click it, it has now made it a print and cut image. When we look at the snowman image, it is print and cut, but it's going to cut it in several different pieces, which isn't what we want it to do. So I'm gonna go ahead and highlight the snowman I'm gonna click flatten, and again, it has now put it all together as one piece that I can print and cut. I wanna make several of these, so by clicking duplicate up here, you can duplicate your image. Once you've gotten as many as you want, go ahead and continue. It's gonna add it to your print and cut mat, again, giving you the area that you can print and cut in within those black lines. To make my stickers today, I'm using this printable sticker paper by Cricut. To print my stickers, I'm using an inkjet printer. It works perfectly, look at that. I'm gonna add my sticker paper onto my blue light grip mat. And you know the drill. I'm gonna load my mat into my Cricut and it's gonna work its magic by cutting each of these stickers out individually. Ha, ah, and look there, we've just made a sticker. Wasn't that easy? How fun is that? And an embellishment to close up our greeting card envelopes with. Does it get any funner than that? I love making greeting cards this time of year, especially when I get to do it on my Cricut. It really doesn't get any easier than this. I told you, quick and easy is definitely the name of these cards. I love the versatility of this machine. I love how you can really choose the style of card you want, whether it's the print and cut, a cutout, or using that pen feature. And if I'm being completely honest, the pen feature is definitely my favorite because I feel like it gives it that hand-drawn look that makes it feel even more homemade and handmade than it already is, and I just love that. And like I said, these would be a perfect addition to that holiday craft sale. I hope you all enjoyed today's quick and easy DIY greeting card gift ideas and the sticker sheet that I brought to you as well. Thank you to Cricut for sponsoring this video. Please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and let's get this video to 5,000 likes because like I always say, each and every one of your thumbs up and those comments that you do leave down below, they really do help my channel to grow and it helps YouTube to notice me just a bit more. Until next time everybody, I hope you have a fantastic day. Stay happy, stay safe, stay healthy, but most of all, stay positive please because I am. 
and bye for now everybody.